Hello everyone, Armored Aqua here. It's been a while since I played Terraria. In fact, I forgot to make a video last week, so it's been a while since I played anything. So, I'm actually just here to show off my world and everything, and wow, it's already getting dark. I'm going to show off my world and everything, how much it changed since I fought Plantera and everything. So, what have I done? Well, I've upgraded my base to look like this and be completely enclosed so nothing can get in at all. I've put some teleporters around and I want to make this quick though because I plan to actually farm the three mechanical bosses afterwards because I did make a vi videos for fighting Plantera and Gollum but I never actually fought the mechanical bosses in any of those videos. So here is my biome farm. I'll show you that later. Right here I have Hyzard Mansion. No, it's not a mansion. It's just like a blocky thing. Then this is the arena and flight range. So you can fly around here. You go to here. This go takes you up to the arena, which will eventually be a lot better. I haven't really worked on this yet. I just now made the entire walls and close. Um, slime. So. Then there's the elevator. There's the, um, all my NPCs live down here. So that's nice. And then I have, um, what else do I have? Fireworks. You never know, you need fireworks indoors. Um, a little mine here. I don't ever go down that mine anymore. I have, um, I think I've shown pretty much about everything. How about the left side? Wait, oh, there is something. Okay. Over, way over here, I have the truffle. So. I'll just take all these glowing mushrooms. And I'll teleport back. The truffle is way over here. That'll be... I think I should make it my goal to make that part of my base way over there. That would be a lot. Speaking of which, I don't think I've shown the left side here. The left side, I have this tiny little house here. Then I have all this enclosed. And there's a big old pirate ship up here with the pirate in it. It's a terribly built pirate ship, but whatever. <laughs> so, I'm pretty much just waiting till nighttime so I can fight Skeletron. Oh, I was going to show off the biome farm. So, I'll head over to that biome farm now. There's. Darn it. See, I'm holding down for the hoverboard, but then I hold down to go through the thing. So that's my little tiny jungle. It actually had a life fruit once, believe it or not. Then there's my tiny little crimson. My tiny little, um, what do I call it? Um, corruption. I actually, this world is crimson. I brought corruption seeds from a different world over to here. Oh, and then I have a little hollow here. So right here is my sign. It says, to the dungeon. And it was, notice it was in quotation marks, and I'll show you exactly why. Warning, you'll no doubt take fall damage here if you have nothing to prevent it. Now, we're just gonna fall down. Gradually falling down. Nice little drop. Nice little, um. Um. Like to tell you. It's much of a dungeon. It's just like. Sadness. It's just, just, who's the bad guy here? Me or them? I, I think I kind of just barged in and destroyed their home. Anyway, it's nighttime. I'm going to go fight those bosses. So, I'm first going to do the destroyer because I can kill that in a couple of seconds. So, I'll come over here. Um, you know, I'll just fight in my base, whatever. 
because Destroyer isn't too hard to do in one spot. In fact, it's so easy I can just stand here and let it attack me as I stab it. So... Just gonna keep stabbing and stabbing and stabbing and stabbing and stabbing. Stabbing repeatedly. And there, look. Destroyer has been defeated. Oh wait, the souls. I want the souls. Seriously. Okay, trash, trash, trash. Wait, I want the potions. I'll trash the wyvern stuff. Um, next I will do the twins, which I actually have my little asphalt path all the way over here. And wow, it's again late into the night. Okay. So I have asphalt path way up here for fighting twins. If I can find it. Here it is. Okay. So twins have woken. Hey buddy. Um, it's actually going the wrong way. Darn it. Don't worry. I'll, I'll fix that. There. Now I'm on this side. So that's Spectasm. I believe that's the one that shoots the lasers. The other one turns into a mouth. So. Oh no. I'm off, I'm off the path. Okay. I'll just keep stabbing. Just keep stabbing. Just keep stabbing. Just keep stabbing. 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 Oh, it's the. Oh, no, wait. This is the one that turns to a mouth. Okay. I was wrong. I was wrong. I got it mixed up. Let's go. It's going faster now. Whoa. Where's the other one? It doesn't have another player to target. Did it just despawn? That'd be crazy if it despawned. It despawned. There's no way that I killed the other one. That's crazy. Okay. On the Skeletron with low health. Okay. Skeletron is actually going to take the most time to kill of all three of these. I thought the twins would have taken longer, but the other twin despawned because I guess um she it he I don't know we can't keep up with me so I think because the mouth one attack would like like I can tell by my little twin fighters with me the mouth is going to go and try to go fast the other one shoots so I'm guessing the other one just couldn't keep up because it shoots if I still have some time left after fighting Skeletron, I'll fight the twins again and see if I can get the other one to not despawn. Um, oh, also, you might have noticed I have the little Lahizard altar way over here. I actually don't want Skeletron to despawn like the twin did. But, um, so I'll try to keep Skeletron on the screen. Look, you notice I had the little altar here for fighting Gollum. And because I got the thing that can mine the Hyzar bricks. And I took Gollum and decided to take him all the way over here. Well, okay. I believe Skeletron is just ahead now. So this shouldn't be too hard. So, hello, there you are, come on buddy, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, goodie bag, it's not even Halloween anymore, it's like way past Halloween, is, is my Playstation broken, is it, is, it obviously thinks it's still Halloween, Okay, looks like I got some souls of fright and everything. 
all the goodies. I'm gonna see if I can fight the eyes again. Let's see. Hey, you, I know you. Now, I think since I play am playing on console, I think the last boss I have left is um is Duke Fristron. Because I believe I don't think the Lunatic Cultist is in console, so Moon Lord isn't. So I think that's all I have left. I don't even know why I need an asphalt path. I mean, they, they seem to go relatively slow. I could probably just do it with my boots. Hello? Whoa, hey, buddy. There's now it does help with a good getaway. If you need a getaway. Oh, no. Oh, no. See, this is a lot harder when the other one doesn't despawn. I still am pretty confident I'm going to beat it, no problem. It's now I've only got one left. This is the one that shoots me, though. Which I don't like, because... See, shooty bosses decide that they can just fly away from you if they can. So, now I have to just... Keep flying towards it. Because it's going to try to keep a safe distance from me. And I can't shoot things off screen very easily. Oh no, looks like it's starting to get light out. I gotta hurry up. No, die. I've got seven seconds until I can take a potion. No, 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 die. Potion, die. 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 There. Okay. I killed it. Now, um... Let's see. I got a good amount of loot for this. I'm not gonna try to fight anything else because I'm running out of time of the night. So... Let's see. I gotta head up here. I'm gonna dump all my hollow bars, actually. Actually, I have too many hollow bars to dump in one chest. Um, and I believe I have extra souls that I can dump those with. Um, oh! Too many souls of might to dump in one chest as well. I believe there's a destroyer mask. Yeah, there it is. Um... Oh, you probably noticed that from my last video, I have changed my outfit as well. Because last time I was wearing a familiar wig, and what, just having the bio hair dye and everything. So that's a little different. I think I've got too many potions here. I should probably put away some of these potions. Somewhere I'll remember, though. Um... I'm not sure if there's anywhere I'll remember. I'll just keep my inventory. So... I think that's just about it. I don't really have anything else to do. Here. Except... Let's see. I never joined the blue team. Um... Yeah, there isn't really anything I could do. Now, I believe to get fish on, I'm going to have to head to a mushroom biome. That used to be a mushroom biome. It isn't anymore. That is a mushroom biome, but I don't think that's enough to get what I'm looking for. Then, where else is a mushroom biome? I think there's a third mushroom biome somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Not the one overground. I want underground mushroom. Um... Gotta be around here somewhere. There's... Oh, there it is. It's all the way down there. Hmm. I think I'm gonna want to go for the one in the hollow. So 
I believe I have a little path down to that one. So, let's see. I believe right over here, yeah, there's a little drop down into where I want to go. So, once they get all the way down here, I'm going to want to come to this thing, turn into a fishman, come down here, keep turning into a fishman, fall down here. No. Oh, it's a cobalt. Um. Then come up here and hey, skeleton archer boy. Okay. Now, I believe what I'm looking for is a worm of sorts. I'm not sure how rare it is or anything. How hard it is to find. Um. This might be interesting. Hey, look, there's my dryad. Celestia. It's quite the name, Miss Celestia. Um, there's a shark statue. Shark. 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 It's a shark. Um, there's. There's, um. No worms. Poo. So I don't know how I'm going to find those worms. I'm going. To, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, here's another thing I did with my wiring. My entire house can open up. You, you see, I stopped there and it, okay. Yeah. It's so amazing, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's just about it. I have... This little crafting area here. Turn the lights on and off. Cause it's just, just that amazing that torches can turn on and off. Could could you ever dream of torches being able to go on and off? Because that's just insanity. Oh, I don't have the music on. But um this actually turns to a jungle. I think because of the Hyzard brick here. It assumes it's a jungle. You can see the backdrop down there. It assumes that this area is a jungle for some reason. I haven't gotten any jungle enemies in here. Maybe it's because I'm mostly around this area because... Oh, there's a jungle enemy, but that's coming from right over there. Which I know is supposed to be a jungle. This is just a temple. I don't know if any jungle enemies are going to come in here or not. I haven't seen any Lahizards or... Anything that would spawn inside the temple. If anyone knows about that, maybe you can tell me in the comments below. Anyway, I think I'm ready for my outro. So, remember, to, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And, um, what else? Oh, I'm going to have the Discord join link in my description, as always. And, um, remember... Just to, wow, I hate saying this, but stay all cool.